Jamie is asking, do you have a script to copy a task sequence to pre-cache along with copying all options, conditions, SKU match, etc.? We're moving driver. Uh, we're moving driver win packages. Uh, I did see an old one, but did it didn't do the conditions for each step. I have an example where I added a condition. I can share that one. I find my screen in this little area. Let's see. If I add this one. Uh, that looks like my screen. It's funny, we was actually having a, a, a Twitter conversation around this uh, either this morning or late last night, depending on, on how you look at it. Uh, but it is fully possible to create sequences in Config Manager through nothing but PowerShell. You don't have to fiddle around with XML files and all that stuff. But this was one that was copying packages over from another sequence, creating a new one. But I was also having an example where we downright created one from scratch and added in a, a gazillion of driver packages in it. I got tired of having them one by one because, as you can see, I have more than a few. And in this here, I can swear I, yeah, I added a condition to it. As to where I set that condition, however, that's another story. Yeah, I was checking for a variable. So this was my condition. So basically I had a variable that, that was never supposed to be true. So I had a condition that never true should be true. Uh, it says here after true, I think. Yeah, it has to be true. And it never will be. So that that group would never kick in. So you you can definitely do that. And when you create your, your sequence group, you can say that you want to use that condition. So it should be doable to, to script. And uh, I mean, otherwise you can, you can also export and import sequences if you just want to do a copy of them. Um, that's fairly quickly. But if you want to permit them, manipulate them through PowerShell, this is this is what I would recommend doing rather than messing around with XML files. It can get pretty intense. So, but I'll, I'll make a note of this um, uh, link. And, and share it with the others. Uh, Jamie had a couple of follow-ups here on that task sequence question. I'm not sure if you actually answered those as part of your response. Well, I, I tried, but... Uh... <laughs> Sometimes okay. that's... Okay, I, I see the follow-up here. Um... Okay, so the follow-up clarification was having a normal deployment sequence and basically transfer that one into a pre-caching one with the same type of conditions for each step. I have been quite brutal there in my pre-caching sequences. Uh, the example that I showed earlier here... Um, Uh, or I create a new pre-caching from another one, I simply take all of it. I I don't care what... Uh, maybe I should share my screen also. <laughs> Forgot that I there. shared yours. It's like, what does it not change? Ah, There's so, yours. <laughs> yeah. So basically what the, the approach I had was that every single... Uh, Let's see what I have. This one. Um, here. Every single reference a sequence had, 
I made sure those packages were available in the pre-caching sequence. And the way I deployed my pre-caching sequences is that I download everything beforehand. So I have here one I was testing for a uh, Windows 11 22 H1. And if I go to deployment there, I didn't have one for that one. Let's see if I have any. At this one, I have a deployment for. And if I check the distribution point settings on this one, uh, this is the key here uh, to download everything before starting. Because that forces us to take every single reference and stack it into the config manager client cache. And in this particular case, it also forces it to use the branch cache, which is brilliant. That's a bonus. Um, but I mean, sure, you can have pre-caching sequences with, with conditions on them. But I, I was lazy and just took everything and make sure the content was out there. The rare exception has been when we do in-place upgrades, where we use uh, the script from Morris Daily to do a pre-cache of only the driver package that the machine actually needs, because we do it in two phases. We pre-cache the OS image and the driver package it needs first and validate the system. And then once everything has been validated, then we do the upgrade. But since the upgrade now, uh, since the content is already on the hard drive at that point, the upgrade goes very, very quick, as quick as it possibly can go. So that would be the exception of pre-caching everything. When I only pre-cache for one device. Yeah, there were follow-up clarification. We have a bunch of driver models and don't want to pre-cache all of them. Yeah, then you will have to have some sort of condition or multiple sequences that that you push out different sequences to different departments or different business units, sites, countries, planets. I don't know. <laughs>